All right, everybody, I wanted to make this little video real quick for people that are having uh, firing problems, ignition problems. Uh, first of all, make sure that your magnet is on the proper way. If you take the magnet off, before taking off, take you a black permanent marker and put you an X or something on the, uh, the front side of it because there is a front and a back. Uh, it does make a difference. Okay, these ignition systems right here are <clears throat> uh, are high quality Chinese junk. Uh, basically, I wasn't getting a good connection in between the two. Uh, the way I test spark is some people don't do it, but I stick my finger inside the hole and you move it over. And if you get, you should get a, a good jolt from just a you know, going over your, your revolution, you know, you don't get all crazy and pull on it and stuff like that. You know, if you got heart problems, don't do that kind of stuff. But like I said, I just, I just stick my finger in it and pull over and I wasn't getting shocked. I should have got zapped because I was pushing it pretty hard. Uh, so what you need to do is you need to take this and cut this right here back here past the holes. They got these, all that happens is these little pieces here are crimped in let me see if I can show you focus there you go all they are is just crimped into the holes so you want to cut past this with a razor blade just take a razor blade and kind of slice it make sure you use a new sharp one uh, and you'll go down you'll feel the wire and then roll this like so with the razor blade on it and then slide that portion off what that'll do is that will leave the wire as shown so whenever you do recrimp this in take that wire twist it up and pull it across here and that way whenever you're spark plug as you see how it pinches the wire against that giving it a good a good connection there uh, to get this boot off the boots on there like so uh, roll it back like this get you some combustion chamber cleaner uh, or some PB blaster this works good for hoses and stuff like that to get those on but uh, back here on this end all this thing does is just screw in so when you unscrew that if you see there's a stud in there all that is is a screw uh, you can see the you can barely see the threads on it, but it screws in here. So you want to you, you want to you see how it's kind of flared right there. You want to cut past the flare, cut the old off. I recommend you doing this as soon as you get yours, just to make sure you got a good connection. Cut that off with a razor blade. Just chop that one solid, and try to identify where the wire is at and try to make sure that you center the wires up on that screw it in and screw it and get it good and snug and tight get that good and tight these ends right here come with bullet connectors bullet connectors are a piss poor electrical product or electrical connector uh they suffice but it's no 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 cut your wires pull your sheathing off just wrap them together at first and take you a piece of electrical tape and fold over it you know when you when you're installing your bike to make sure it runs make sure you, to make sure you get your wires because sometimes you got a red wire and a blue wire over here you'll have a, a red wire a white wire your white wire is going to be your light wire this is for you to run your lights or uh, your ignition system kill uh, but this one the wires match up red to red black to black some of them are blue some of them are red some of them are black so just to make sure if you're not good with wiring to make sure that you're going to get them right just uh pull that off kind of twist them together and then put some tape over it once you make sure that you that they're right then pull them apart get you some marine butt connectors uh you'll use the the red ones on this little small stuff uh but they're heat shrink epoxy butt connectors. Once you you crimp them, you come back, heat them, and you'll see the epoxy pull out the ends and waterproof them. But butt connecting these will give you a good uh, a good 
good connection, a lot better than the bullet connectors. The bullet connectors are just going to allow you to uh, to replace. But the engine that I used was the Zeta 100. Uh, you're going to hear me say this several times if you look at any of my videos pertaining to these bikes. That uh, that Zeta 100, any of the 100s out there, they are not 100 cc's as they claim. They are 80 cc's. Okay. Now, I'm not sure about this ignition, but when I had this on there, see, this come bad from the factory. This was the factory one. I wasn't getting spark, so I went ahead and with the purchase of this, since these parts aren't so expensive, I bought the $20 uh, supercharged ignition system. Uh, I'm not too sure... I'm kind of thinking that this one might have a little bit more uh, variation in the timing because a guy clocked me at 50 with this ignition on. And uh, uh, with the new ignition, I've been clocked at 42, 43 with the GPS. But maybe his tires on his truck were different. Okay, so back to this. Uh, the 100cc has a, uh, a single-piece cylinder. And they call for the factory plug that come with it was a garbage plug. And this cross-reference over to a, a I'm going to get a decent plug. Oh, I highly recommend you get rid of that junk plug that they come with and buy you something deep different. It cross-references like 70 different plugs. So this is an Autolite 216. And if you notice, it's it's the depth of it. Okay. Well, as I was there at the parts store, I went ahead and got another plug. And if you see that, it's a little bit longer. Don't put this, I've not tested this on the ADCC, you know, but the one piece Yetta design, this NGK. BR6HS actually gets a little bit further down. I, I put uh, some uh, thread sealer on the electrode and hand twisted the engine to get the piston to come all the way up down to see if this was going to leave a mark on the piston. Did not leave a mark so I knew that this wasn't going to hit with the being linked. But this actually gets it further down to get the spark into the center. Uh, this is a better plug. When you're looking at plugs, you'll see your number. The number is your heat setting. Six heat setting. The lower you go, the hotter the plug. So if you pull your plug out and you see that your plug's burning too hot, uh, you want to go up a number, so I would go up to 7. Uh, if it's not, you go down to a 5. But anyways, I had to take a Dremel and cut the fins out around where the spark plug goes because of the size of this plug versus the other one. Uh, but the, uh, the, the manual told me to get a... CR7HS plug. It makes it better ignition or better uh, starting and idling. Come on now. It there's no way possible that's going to work. So if if y'all have the just so happen to have the same manual I got that tells you to get the the C7HS this is the only one that pops up the CR7HS uh, don't waste your time or money uh, <clears throat> but anyways like I said make sure that your magnet is on properly make sure that you're getting good connections uh, it's also a good thing to take this ground and run you, uh, get you another piece of black wire, and put you a a ring terminal on the other end, crimp it, and then run it to your one of your engine bolts to make sure that you do have a good ground. Uh, uh, let me see what else. What else are we going with here? Uh, some of the 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 newer ignition that I got had the uh, the cap removed 
on this model. These don't uh, in here. These didn't. Uh, I don't really know why they're doing. I guess th th some of them don't have enough spark. Spark isn't hot enough to go through here, so they're removing these. Uh, but anyways, uh, when you're looking at the plugs, make sure that you get a good plug. Like I said, get rid of that that the one that it comes with. Uh, don't use this, like I said, on the the two piece design. And I, I know it it only work on the uh, 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 the, the single the, with the 50 millimeter, the Yetta 100 uh, 50 millimeter piston, the the one piece design head. Uh, I don't want to be responsible for y'all tearing your stuff up. And this is for the kids out there. <clears throat> Look, I'm 40 years old. I've been in mechanic school for two years, back to 96 to 98. Uh, it's a long time ago. Uh, but growing up uh, with motorcycles and four-wheelers, uh, I used to, as a kid, I used to think that I could change the spark plug, get me one of the split-fire spark plugs or the ones with the three prongs or something like that, and make my motorcycle faster. Wrong. Look, if y'all want to uh, to add something to your bike, the best way to do is to get air in and out. Start with this exhaust. Get you a good expansion chamber, chamber, expansion chamber muffler. Uh, from there, you need to get the fuel in so get you a good carburetor and induction system and then you're going to have to have a good spark to ignite the fuel so get you a good ignition uh and the only way to really change your your speed significantly is with your gear ratio and that will be with your rear sprocket uh 32 tooth uh sprocket is good for flat areas or lighter people uh myself i'm about uh, 125 130 pounds my 32 tooth sprocket on my bike uh, will get me at about 43 miles an hour. It's this one right here. Here is the 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 muffler. Uh, I'm gonna actually take. Where are we at? Oh, sorry. I'm actually gonna take this. I've not completed it yet. But I'm going to take this, and this is going to be a silencer for it. So I'm going to cut that. This pipe actually will slide inside that one. So I'm going to cut this right at the weld, slide that in there. So it'll look like so. I'm just going to braise it once I put it in there. Uh, brazing will be fine. But I had an issue, something, something... It sucked something in. I don't know. I had engine failure, so now I'm having the 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 lovely time of finding a new piston uh, and jug for it. But uh, oh, anyways, I just wanted to help y'all out with the uh, ignition system. Like I said, make sure that your magnets on right here is is the uh, the new ignition that I got, and if you see. You'll see how I, I put the extra ground wire. This was just a, a lamp wire that I had, and that's, I'm not really worried about uh, different color wires because I'm pretty good with electrical stuff. That's that's my fancy, so to speak, in, in the mechanic industry is, is electrical work. Uh, but you can see where I crimp these, and then I just I didn't have the, the heat shrink epoxy, like I said, so I just got some heat shrink. Uh, to go over it, cable tied everything up, and remember, looks nice when you cable tie everything, get it all good, nice and clean, but uh, remember, be careful, be safe, God bless y'all, love you.